Hello, this is Ryan from Rate Zero, and today I'll teach you how to square a drive. So the reason why we want to square our chassis up is that if it basically if your shaft are if your metals are actually misaligned, then it actually has a really major effect on how smooth your drive is going to be. So as you can see over here, your my tracking looks fairly smooth. As you can see over here, but if I just nub, if I just nudge the shaft off from offset just a tad bit like this, you can see that now I'm having a lot of friction on this. That didn't spin as much. With that established, our main goal when building a chassis is to make sure that all of our drive C channels are either perpendicular or parallel to each other. Now, this is almost impossible with VEX screws to be honest, because as you can see, the VEX screws are actually a tad bit smaller than the square holes, and it is able to really shift around. Now, what this ha now the result when mounting metals is that it's actually able to slightly shift. As you can see, I'm able to offset by, by, by about 3 degrees, and then it will no longer be offset across like 8C channels. The way to mitigate this issue is actually to be using shoulder screws. So as you can see, this is basically a screw with a small shoulder on it. And as you can see over here, the shoulder is actually the exact same size as the VEX metal and the screw can no longer shift around. So as an effect, when I mount, a seat, when I mount metals together, basically I can no longer be able to shift it and it will always stay perfectly perpendicular. We'll start off with preparing all of your, drive, your four drive channels, one, two, three, four. And then you also obviously want to want your cross braces over here. So is it really just as simple as just screwing your cross braces with your shoulder screws? Well, not actually, because oftentimes we'll be mounting our bracings offset and off of spacers. And in this case, as you can see, well, shoulder screws doesn't really work for cross spacers because the shoulder is only really this long. What we'll be doing instead is actually to be mounting temporary cross bracings across the robot and then once we can make sure that the cross bracings make sure everything is aligned we are able to mount our main bracing and then remove the temporary ones so basically grab you'll want to grab a full length 5 watt c channel just screw it on in the end with the shoulder screws i will just skip through to when i'm finished with everything here's what it looks like after it's done as you can see every one of these screws are mounted with shoulder screws and they're all aligned and preferably you want you actually want screws on either ends but my, my, my drive is actually not the same length, so I just stick with this. Then the next step is that you actually want a second cross bracing, preferably also a 5 wide, but I don't have space, so I'll just settle with this. And then basically just mount it wherever you want, as long as it won't interfere with the final bracing. Lastly, once it's done, just mount your actual bracings on here. Alright, as, all right, as you can see, now everything is mounted. Now, because of these two C channels, the drives are straight, and because of these two main uh, the bracings, now this thing's also constrained. So I can go ahead and just take these off right now. All right, I went ahead and take off the bracing, and as, as you can see, we now have a perfectly square drive. If we just do a quick test with this 2.75 inch wheel, as you can see, it's really smooth, and that's how you have a really low friction and smooth drive.